Hi guys, this is lecture 7.1, Cartesian Vectors. Suppose we have two dots on a Cartesian plane. These two dots may form a vector, and we can call it a Cartesian vector. Suppose the vector is u, we can translate this vector so that its tail is at the origin, which is 0. Its head will be at some point p of ab. Then we define this special Cartesian vector as the position vector a and b in square bracket. We use square bracket to distinguish between the point round bracket ab and the related position vector square bracket ab. Magnitude of a vector. Any Cartesian vector v can be translated so that it is at the origin and its tail is at the point v1, v2. To find the magnitude of the vector, we use the formula for distance between two points. The magnitude of the vector u will be equal to a squared plus b squared under a square root sign. Keeping in mind that a is the x value for the head of vector u and b is the y value for the head of vector u. Now let's take a look at adding vectors. To add two Cartesian vectors, u and v, we have u plus v is equal to u1, u2 plus v1, v2, which is equal to u1 plus v1 and u2 plus v2. Multiplying a vector by a scalar. Suppose we have the vector u, which has an x value of u1 and y value of u2. And we have a scalar, k belongs to all real number. Then when we multiply this scalar to this vector, we will get k times m square bracket u1 and u2, which is equal to m square bracket ku1 and ku2. Subtracting Cartesian vectors. Recall that to subtract a vector means to add the opposite. So when we have u minus v, it is equal to u plus negative v. And we can work here the same, out, uh, same way as we did for addition for Cartesian vectors. Now let's take a look at example one. Giving two vectors a, x value of two, and y value of negative six, and b, x value of two, y value of four. Determine each of the following. An expression for 2a minus 3b in terms of i and j. i is the unit vector for the x-axis and j is the unit vector for the y-axis. 2a minus 3b will be equal to 2 times the vector a, which is 2 and negative 6, plus 3, sorry, negative 3 times the b vector, which is 2 and 4. And that's going to give us negative 2 and negative 24. The magnitude of a minus b will be equal to the magnitude of 2 and minus 6 plus 2 and 4. And that's going to give us a magnitude of 4 and negative 2. But these two are still two dots on the plane, and we need to find out the magnitude between these two dots. So that's going to give us the option to use the Pythagorean theorem. That's going to be 4 squared plus negative 2 squared equals to the magnitude of a minus b. And that's going to be 2 times square root of 5. To find the Cartesian vector between two points, let p1 of x1, y1 and p2 of x2, y2 be two points on the coordinate plane. Then to find the magnitude of p1 and p2, it will be equal to the square root of x2 minus x1 in bracket squared plus y2 minus y1 in bracket squared. And that's the end of this lecture. Thank you guys for watching. Please remember to do your assignment as well as upload them for your teacher to mark. And I'll see you guys next time.